What's going on everybody? Welcome back to uh, another video here. We just rolled up at the pond and we're gonna hop out, see if we can't catch some fish. As you guys know, I don't have a boat right now. Um, we should have it. At least what we've heard is by, by June we should have the boat. So um, for now, I'm stuck pond hopping, which you know, uh, it's all right. We're gonna see if we can't put some of the lures that came in some monster bass boxes to work today. Fish this pond all the time this time of year. You can normally catch some bedding fish pretty easy. It's, it's a pretty good pond to fish. So we're going to see if we can't catch us some fish um, and just have some fun. So we're going to uh, fish this pond. It's got a lot of grass around it. It's kind of hard to throw moving baits. Uh, you kind of have to throw, uh, you get like flip or like a frog or something. So um, it may be a little cold for top water. Uh, this next week's actually supposed to be in the 80s. Finally, you're supposed to get steady weather, increasing in temperature. Yeah, we're gonna see if maybe we can't catch them, catch them flipping or something. Um, and then next week we should be able to come back and maybe catch them on some top water and stuff. And top water should finally be getting good. I've been looking at some of my ponds that I fish, and some of them are finally starting to uh, get matted up a little bit. So we should be able to start catching some fish on top water. And then of course, once we get my boat, my boat back, you know, I mean they're gonna be going offshore, dang near. Should be fun. Uh, at least we're still out fishing and uh, I'm definitely excited to get my boat back on the water and finally go catch some more fish and I have so many videos that I want to film for you guys um, some tips and stuff that I want to film and uh, I need my boat to do it so I'm excited to get it back but we're gonna get out here and see if we can't catch any fish we're gonna see if we can't catch something flipping I know there's a lot of grass right here and I've actually caught them flipping here before so we're gonna see this bag is full of stuff that's coming monster bass boxes and stuff that I just brought um, we're gonna grab those, those, and we're gonna grab these. We got three options here. So, um, let's start out with one of these. This came in the Strike King Takeover box in um, January. So, so, just a simple flipping rig here. I always snail my flipping rigs. A lot of people are scared to snail them on floor carbon, but I like to. And we're just going to rig up a simple Texas rig. Just like that. guy he's real cold he ain't even thinking about spawning yet but he he sure did doink that rage menace that water's just splashed up on my foot and it's actually extremely cold so that may explain these fish are a little further behind they were last year uh, actually last year actually earlier in May I was catching them right here along this bank really good flipping like 40, you catch 40 fish down this whole bank and it's only maybe 100 yards, 150 yards long at most. Uh, the fish honestly scared me. I went to pick up the bait to reel it out and he was on there. About ready to rip the rod out of my hand. I'm telling you guys, the whole deal to this flipping is the bait you put on. That That's the most important part. You know, we have a, a peg here with a quarter ounce tungsten weight. Uh, I mean, you don't have to fish tungsten, but um, you know, we like to because it's you know so much more sensitive. You can feel every stick and everything. Uh, you know, this is a four aught trocar TK130 flipping hook. I got the line snailed, um, snailed on the hook there, and then the bait I'm using, like I said, is the Strike King um, Rage Tail Rage Menace. Uh, it's the four inch menace in watermelon red, and um, uh, this came in the January Monster Bass box when Strike King took over. But this is a perfect flipping bait because once you pull this thing down, you can see how slim 
that is. I mean, it's just super, super slim. The reason you want it so slim is because you can flip in, in like this grass right here that we're fishing. You can, you can see this grass in the water. Um, and when you flip in, the, the more slim it is, it's gonna be able to go through a whole lot better. So you slip in those holes, it's gonna slip through. You know, if you were to put like a, like a brush hog or something on here, it, it wouldn't go through a whole lot better because you know, they have those arms or whatever. You know, those are still good to flip, but you can flip those around trees and stuff. Um, but these Rage Menaces are perfect for flipping little grass like this. I don't even know what kind of grass this is. I mean, I have no idea, but I know that in May, these fish get up here and spawn in the holes and right on the outside edge. And you can see right out there, it's pretty deep. Right on the outside edge of this grass, it's pretty deep. So a lot of times what I like to do is I'll take it, flip it out, I don't know, five feet past the outside edge, let it fall and just work it back to the edge and then reel it in. And then where I just caught that fish actually, there's a grass patch here and a grass patch here and there's a ditch right here. And the ditch is deeper than everywhere else on the bank. And that fish was right in the, in, right on the edge in that ditch. He's got grass on both sides of him. He can go hide in. And uh, he's also in the deepest water up on the bank. And I am sorry, but there is a person that decides they need to cut their grass right now. So I apologize for the audio. There's another one. I just missed that fish. Picked it up, did the exact same thing that other one did, right on the outside edge, in a little ditch. There he is again. Look at that. Got him. Good little, little cold water bass here. This is actually a really pretty fish. Look at him. You know, a lot of people think. You know, these fish probably aren't spawning, but they're getting ready to. A lot of people think that beds will be up here where it's shallow is where you can see them. That's not necessarily true. Um, a lot of these fish in this pond especially spawn right on that outside edge of this grass or I don't know, whatever it is up there. a little steeper bank too. There's one right there. Oh my god. Look at him. Pull my pants down. I pulled my pants down. I ain't nothing worse than that. Maybe he'll bite again. That's a better fish too. Not a giant, but little rage menace. Another little guy. Look at that, he's got something weird on his fins. You guys see those bumps? Weird. So guys, one cool thing actually about this rage menace is once you get done with one side or once one side gets worn out you literally just flip the bait over and rig it up the other way pour your bobber stop down and now you're good to go again
so that guy's long and skinny. Oh, that, that's probably a 15 inch fish. Long and skinny sucker. Look at that, you got gunk all over me. All right, so I just missed another one. Uh, bait keeps pulling down looking like this, so it's obviously time for a new bait. You know, I've caught, I don't know, five, six fish on this bait. Um, so the cool thing about monster bass is unlike some other people, um, we send you guys full packs. So you're not gonna get a sample pack of these with only three in it. Oh, don't roll away. That wind is terrible. Um, but you're not gonna get a sample pack of these with only like three in it. Um, we give you we give you full packs so not only do we give you the absolute best baits to catch fish like there's no doubt you will catch fish on the baits that we we uh, provide you but you guys get full packs so that when you do catch fish on those awesome baits you're not gonna run out after like six fish you're gonna have uh, enough baits to fish the whole day or at least to catch a bunch of fish on and um, yeah, you can't beat it. Look at that. Look at that. Strike King Rage Menace, Monster Bass Box. Another fatty. That right there, guys, is why I snail my hook. Perfect hook set right in the roof of the mouth every single time. Just a little guy, but. I didn't even have my camera on for that one. I stopped the clip, because I just caught the fish to start a new clip. I didn't even have time to start a new clip. I caught another one in the exact same spot. What was I telling you? Roof of the mouth every single time. Perfect. <laughs> 